Hi, my name is Mohammed Shabazz Khan, and I'm a rising senior at NC State University, majoring in biological sciences and minoring in biotechnology. I spent this summer using ShapeMap to build secondary structure models of the 5' UTR mRNA in cancer-related genes. The 5' UTR plays a critical role in translation regulation. As you can see, with P53, several proteins such as nucleolin, PTB, and MDM2 have strong influences on the level of P53 expression. ShapeMap allows us to measure the per-nucleotide reactivity in RNA. This works by taking advantage of the true prime hydroxyl group on RNA, which is easy for molecules to interact with. Shape reagents poke at and adduct to these nucleotides, indicating where high reactivity and regulation occurs. Reverse transcriptase and two-step PCR are used to create double-stranded DNA with the mutations caused by the shape reagent. Shape mapper software is then used to count these mutations and create a shape profile. This mutational profiling, along with base pairing probability software, are used to build secondary structure models of RNA. With shape profiles and secondary structure models of P53, we can visualize areas of high reactivity where regulatory proteins likely interact with P53 mRNA. You can also see areas of low reactivity where there are likely tertiary RNA interactions. ShapeMap can also be used to visualize the reactivity around the two internal ribosome entry sites, or irises, of P53. These models can be used to create a deeper understanding of how mRNA regulation works in genes important in preventing cancer. For the future directions of this project, modeling other tumor suppressing genes, such as FTH1, can help us understand the mechanisms of other cancer-related genes. Another direction we would like to take this in is using different shape reagents to potentially develop more accurate shape profiles and secondary structure models. I would like to thank Dr. Singupta, my mentor, and Helena Haisong, who has been working with me on this project. If you have any questions, you can contact me at mscon3 at ncsu.edu. Thank you.